Hi, welcome to Yoga Download. I'm Claire Petretti Marty, and this is post travel tune up. It's for right after you get off your plane, your train, or your automobile, and you feel all stiff and tight, and you want to stretch out, loosen up your spine, refresh yourself before you go enjoy the rest of your trip. So, I've got Melissa and Carrie with me today who will be modeling the postures. Let's go ahead and get started. Come to the top of your mat and bring your feet hip width distance. Bend into your knees, fold it forward for ragdoll. Thread the fingers through the crooks of the elbows and allow your head to hang heavy, spine long. Bend your knees actually a lot, so really kind of exaggerate it. That way your spine can relax. Sway from the hips side to side. Shake your head a couple times, maybe nod it, little half circles, release any tension or strain. Allow the hands to hang heavy toward the floor. And then reach behind you, clasp the hands, interlace the fingers, allow the arms to fall forward, and rock the shoulders a little bit side to side. See so if you were lugging heavy bags, Soften up through the shoulder girdle. Release the hands to the earth. Step right back to downward facing dog. Feet about hip width distance, hands about shoulder distance, and bring some movement here. Pedal out the feet, bend into the knees, even shift it a little bit side to side. Loosening up the spine. Bend your knees really deeply a couple times, shins parallel to the earth, and press the tailbone up and back, elongate here. Lift your right leg high and bend the knee, roll the hip open. Look under your left arm, see if you can see the foot. So let that foot just be heavy, the leg heavy. Big knee circles, so big circles with that bent knee, I'm almost like a fire hydrant kind of move. Yeah, loosening up through the pelvis, coming out of that compaction from sitting for a long time. Reverse your circles. Let's go the other way. Should feel pretty good. Extend the leg behind you again, release the foot down to downward facing dog. Second side, lift the left leg, bend the knee, roll the hip, same thing. Keep pressing evenly through both, hand, both hands, allowing the hips to open. And then big circles. Just pick a direction to go first. And loosening up all that connective tissue. We have a lot of connective tissue fascia in this area of the body, softening it up a little bit. Return to downward dog. And release down to a tabletop position. Hands right underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Mm -hmm. Just pause here for a moment, draw your navel in and up a little bit. Okay. Inhale, cow pose, press the heart forward, tilt the tailbone up. Exhale, round into cat, head and tailbone, curl in. Again, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat, draw the navel in deep. Take three more like that. Loosening up. Again, again. Nice and easy. After your third round, meet in a neutral spine. It's a long flat back. Extend your right arm out in front of you like you were going to shake someone's hand. Thumb faces up toward the sky. Keep your neck long. Extend your left leg behind you. Both hip bones stay square to the earth. Mm -hmm. Breathe it here for a moment. Now round in knee to elbow. Squeeze it in and then reach it long. Exhale, round it in just like you did in cat. Lengthen it out. Again, exhale. Inhale, grow a little bit longer. Two more like that. Good. One more. Reach it out and place the hand and knee back down. Take a moment in neutral. Second side, left arm, right leg. Reach long. 
Drop that hip, keep them square. Round it in, elbow to knee. Extend it out. Again, round it in. And reach. Again. <laughs> Make sure you take your head with you, these last two. Let it just come in toward the knee. One more. Good, release the knee and the hand. Spread your knees wide, sink your hips to your heels, balasana child's pose, soften down. It's a great way to soften up the lower back, especially if it's feeling tight, compressed. Breathe it here. And then curl your toes under, press up to downward dog once again. Nice and easy, your knees can be soft if you need. Lift your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step your foot between the hands and gently release down to the left knee. So you're in a kneeling lunge. Bring both hands to the right thigh, so come vertical in the spine. Now rock your hips forward and back a few times, so just shift in and out. This is one area of the body from sitting, no matter which way you've been traveling, that gets super tight, your psoas, your hip flexors. This next time, keep the hips pressing forward. So stay in your lunge and reach both arms up overhead. Reach out of the waist. Good. Steady, steady breath here. Now catch your left wrist. Inhale, get a little taller. Exhale, lean it over to the right side. Stretching through the waist. Make sure your chin stays lifted, your throat's open, your breath is steady and uninterrupted here. Return to center, reach both arms up overhead, then release your fingertips to the mat. Half split, shift your hips back, straighten the right leg out, flex the toes in toward your face. Good. And just notice your hips, they tend to kind of go one side or the other. Try to square them as much as works for you. And then bend into that lunge one more time. So bend into the lunge, shift it back to the half splits. So just keep your fingertips down, yep. Shift it forward, shift it back, bend into the knee, this time plant the hand, step back to downward facing dog. Lift your left leg, low lunge, step the foot through, release down to the right knee, hands to the thigh. So same thing, rock it a little front and back, you'll notice for most of us, one side is more restricted, tighter than the other, that's normal. Just breathe through it, find your edge, that place of sensation where you're breathing. Stay forward in the lunge, sweep your arms up overhead. This helps intensify the opening through the psoas that runs along the front side of the body there. Catch the right wrist with the left hand, lift up first, Lean it over to the left. Keep your breath steady. Reach both arms up overhead once again. Good. Release the fingertips to the earth. Shift it back for that Ardha Hanuman half splits. Rock the weight back, flex the left toes in toward the face. As square as you can find in your hips today. And then a couple times, rock it forward into the lunge, shift it back, this dynamic movement, getting the blood flowing again, lunge into it, shift it back, lunge into it, hold it here, plant the hand, step your right foot up to meet the left, top of the mat. With soft knees, inhale, rise all the way up to standing. Bring your hands together at heart center. Root down through the feet. Either your big toes touch heels slightly apart or feet hip width distance. From here, five half sun A's. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, bow forward, hinge from the hips. Knees can soften. Inhale, halfway lift, fingertips on the shins or the earth. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, rise up to standing. Hands to heart center, keep that going. Inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Hands to heart center. Keep that going. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Hands to the heart, keep it going. Again, sweep it up, getting the blood flowing now. Fold it forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale. Inhale, strong core as you come up. Draw the navel into the spine. Hands to the heart. One more time. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, grow long, fold. Halfway lift. Fold it forward. Inhale, rise up to standing. Hands to the heart. Open up to your left side for triangle pose. Step your left foot back three and a half, four feet. Angle the foot in slightly, right toes face the front. Your heel and your arch are lined up. Arms extend out. So heel and your arch are lined up. Move your foot back, back here. There you go. Reach out as far as you can and tilt it down. Right arm down, left fingertips to the sky. Beautiful. So your hand can be anywhere. It doesn't matter how far down you go. You want to keep your legs grounded, open through the waist, energy up through the left fingertips. Steady breath. Inhale, up to standing. Turn to face the left side of the mat for prasarita. So widen your stance, bring your feet parallel, maybe a little pigeon-toed, hands on your hips. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, halfway lift here. Exhale, walk the hands back in so they're parallel between the feet. Allow the head to descend to or toward the mat. Breathe it here. Soften your knees if you need. Steady breath here. If you are indeed doing this after a trip, relax, you made it, right? It's all good from here. Bring your hands to your hips. Inhale, press up to standing. Second side, turn your left toes to the back of your mat. Angle the right foot in, left heel bisects the arch of the foot, arms extend for triangle pose. Reach it out and tilt it down. Reach your right fingertips to the sky and breathe. Bring this foot back here, back here, 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 here. Heel the arch. Spin the rib cage open, gaze up toward the thumb if that works. Use your inhale to press up to standing. Step it together at the top of your mat. And then come to the top of the mat. <laughs> inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, fold it forward. Plant your hands, step right back to downward facing dog, please. Good. Breathing it here, pressing the hips back. Gaze front step or float through to a seated position. Extend the legs out in front of you, extend the arms out in front of you, and unwind the spine down all the way onto your back. Good, once you get there, relax the arms by your sides. Bend your knees in, place your feet flat. Walk them in close enough so that you can feel the heels with the fingertips. So reach your fingertips around, all 10 toes face front. Arms are heavy by the side. A little back bend flow here. So bridge the hips high, press it up, and then roll the spine down. One vertebra at a time, tailbone releases away from you. Beautiful. Peel it up and roll it down. Two more like that. Inhale up. Exhale away from you. One more like that. 
And this next time we're gonna add the arms, roll the spine down. Inhale, press the hips up, lift your arms up and overhead, back toward the mat. Roll the spine down, arms come with you. Good. Again, peel it up, arms come up and overhead. Unwind it down, arms come down. Spine's getting longer every time. Two more like that, peel it up. Bring it down. One more time, up. Roll the spine down. Pause here for a moment. Figure four, cross your right ankle over your left knee and reach for the left thigh. Draw that whole shape in toward you. Now resist down, keep the lower back down, the tail down, the head's resting. Want a little more sensation, you can press on the inside of the knee, but find that spot where you feel that opening in the side hip, the piriformis, release from a lot of sitting. Steady breath here. Release it down, plant both feet flat once again, find neutral. And then second side. So left ankle over the right knee, keep a little flex in that knee. Catch the right thigh, hug the whole shape in toward you. And then ground through the torso, through the pelvis as you hug the legs in. Couple more breaths here. Maybe soften your hold a little bit, squeeze it in a little bit closer. And release. Both feet down once again. And then this time, hug your right knee up and in toward your armpit. Extend your left leg long on the mat. Just relax it down, heavy hug the knee up and in. Supine twist. Press the knee across the body with the left hand. Right arm extends out to the side, anchoring down through the shoulders. Gaze out toward the fingertips. Right. Unwinding the back here, the hips, the lower body. Twists are also really good for getting your digestion stimulated, your circulation. Sometimes if you've been in longer periods of time for sitting for so long, everything feels sluggish and heavy. Coming out of that, unwind to center, hug the knee in, give it a little squeeze, and then second side, extend the right leg out, hug the left knee in, bring it up and in toward the armpit, apanasana. Then press it across the body, supine twist. Left arm extends, gazing out. Good, breathe into the twist, enjoy the sensation. Return to center, hug both knees in this time. And take about four or five rocks. So start rocking forward and back, little rocks. And then until they grow bigger, see if you can come all the way up. We're gonna meet at the top of the mat in standing. So get a little momentum, a little massage. Top of the mat, hands at the heart. Thanks so much for practicing with us today. Enjoy the rest of your trip. Namaste.